What's up guys, your host with the most, Lord Trunks, back at the game with the Spinners Daily videos. Hi, it's been a long time since I've uploaded it on YouTube, so I miss you guys. Today's topic is going to be about loving the process of whatever, working out, your career, going to school, getting a good, good education, loving the process, guys. You can't, you can't expect to, that whatever you're working on to always go according it's not that's not how life works most things are gonna flip are gonna flip on you like say if you're working out for me for example <clears throat> I like working out I like doing squats I like doing deadlifts I like benching those are like my thing those are the things I love doing and I enjoy going to the gym and doing those lifts but lately, my shoulder has been really has been irritating me and hasn't been 100%. It's been feeling like 20, 50%. So that's one thing that 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 show. That's one example of just just to show you guys that that not everything is going to go according to plan. I didn't really think that I was gonna get injured, you know, throughout these months of working out. I I really thought that I would just get a, like a a nagging pain and that's it. Like that's the most I would. That's the most I I expected to get, but in reality, I got I got a bit more than I can chew, you know. Like my shoulder has been really irritating me and it affected my bench and squat. It hasn't affected my deadlift yet, but it did affect my squat and benching a lot. Like I couldn't bench the same, I couldn't squat the same, I couldn't activate my back like how I used to and squat 225 for reps or bench 175 for reps. Like, I can't do that no more. Like, it feels like crap. And I'm really f now trying to focus on rebuilding that strength back up in my shoulder because I really want to, you know, keep lifting for a very long time. So I backed away from all those, from those two exercises, the bench and the squat for like months. I'll say like m squatting about five months and benching about two to three months. Like, I still bench, but not you know, flat bench. I do a lot of dumbbell, incline, barbell, cable. I still do my chest accessories, but I just don't hit the main movements anymore. So this, this, um, so I went, so I, so, you know, going off on that, you guys have to realize that everything that you're going to do is not going to go according to plan. There's always something that's going to flip on you no matter what. No matter how you feel, if you have everything, you know, pinpointed down, scheduling, timing wise, picking the right exercises, doing the right things, it's not gonna go. It's not gonna work a hundred percent. Like those things are just, you know, um, those things are set to like. <clears throat> my bad. I don't even know. <laughs> those things that you wrote down are not gonna go. Those things that you work. Those things that you uh, wrote down whatever or whatever you think in your head it's not gonna go perfectly planned never ever so you should always always have um not a plan b i wouldn't say you should always just have a plan a and stick to that but you should you should have some type of plan b in order to help say like if you got injured say in lifting my bad so like if you're lifting say you get injured like i did or whatever you have a nagging pain what you do as your second step is basically just back off and don't do those exercises that you know bother you or you f you feel any naggy pain or you could do some rehab exercises and that would help tremendously and just don't even do the exercises maybe even do lighter work of it like lighter weights don't go too heavy maybe keep the volume down keep the intensity down as well and maybe that would work as well so my point is, guys, is you guys should write down your goals and write down what you want, but don't expect to to get there easily. It's gonna be super hard, a lot of bumps, a lot of a lot of bumps and a lot of rocks on the way that you have to you know fucking just push through and not even pay attention and don't get dismotivated just because there's some bumps along the way 
where you want to get at. I totally understand how you, you guys might feel sometimes when you're you're faced with an obstacle and you don't know what to do. I totally understand. I know how that feels, and I know how it feels to be be confused and not know what to do. But the important thing is you try and you try to fix it. Not even try. Let's remove that word. You do it. You just fix it. That's that's the way it goes. You fix it, and then you move on to the next goal. So if you're like me, if my goal right now is just to get my shoulder 100%, and then worry about lifting heavy on the bench press and squatting. I'm just focusing right now on the movement itself, trying to get my groove back on the benching and squatting, and that's it. I'm not really really focused on the, the weight and everything else. I'm just really focused on doing it right and making sure my shoulder feels 100% and it doesn't feel like crap. It might feel like crap throughout the workouts, so I'm gonna push through it, you know, so it's normal that it's going to be irritated, but as long as you do it, you'll be totally fine. Whatever it is, guys, if career-wise, lifting-wise, family-wise, you have a problem, face it, fix it, move on to the next step, don't procrastinate. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you will live a way happier life. You'll actually feel more accomplished throughout life if you face the things you don't want to fix or face the things you're scared of fixing. So whatever it is, guys, just do it, fix it. Don't even rationalize too much because that's what really fucks people up. People rationalize and start making excuses like, oh, I shouldn't be doing this because of this and that, this and that, and it's gonna affect this and that. People are so complicated. So what you have to do is just Zen mode, focus on your damn goals, Whatever it is, whatever it is, guys, just do it. Don't pay attention to anybody's opinions. Do you. Hope this video helped you guys out. It was nice seeing you guys again. Talk to you guys later, man. Hope I'm going to make more videos. I've been slacking it a lot on the YouTube videos lately. You know, that's totally my fault. What I have to do now is just fix it. Exactly, man. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Lord Trunks, pop, 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 out, motherfuckers, boom.